The Great Pyramid is the biggest and oldest of the three pyramids that stand on the outskirts of Cairo in Egypt. It is believed to have been built around 4,500 years ago. Over the years, various archaeological teams have explored the Great Pyramid of Giza. Those archaeological digs found, hidden behind a false wall, a narrow shaft that climbed at a 40-degree angle up into the pyramid. Yet, those explorations yielded little but damage to the shaft, and no one had explored where the shaft led. But don't forget to watch to the very end as a robot has finally discovered new secrets inside the pyramid. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at what exactly the robot discovered inside the pyramid. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started. The Team Behind the Robot in 2010, Rob Richardson, professor of robotics at Leeds, and a small group of colleagues had accepted a challenge thrown down by Hong Kong dentist and inventor Dr. Tse Chuen Ying to design and build a robot that could reach the end of the shaft and find what's inside the Great Pyramid. To solve one of the big mysteries in Egyptian archaeology, the team has developed a robot that has successfully navigated one of the narrow shafts of the Great Pyramid. Scientists took almost five years to develop the robot. Professor Richardson, part of the robotics at Leeds Research Group, said, This design was certainly challenging. The robot had to be extremely lightweight, and in the end, we got it down to 5 kilograms. Because it was so light, it did not require a lot of power. In the end, the challenges started to become opportunities. We developed a system that moved the robot very gently through the passageway. The Robot's Journey The robot had traveled along a shaft that is just 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters a smaller cross-section than a sheet of A4 paper and maneuver along its 60-meter length. The challenge was to survey and film what was inside, and crucially, not cause any damage. Because of the meticulous design, the robot was able to navigate the shaft and record exclusive footage of the inside. The film reveals intricate colored markings on the floor of a small hidden chamber. The robot's camera also revealed a second blocking stone that they could not get past. Now, what lies beyond that second stone at the end of the shaft becomes a mysterious question. Professor Richardson said, No one knows the purpose of the shaft. There has been speculation that it could be an air vent or perhaps access to a burial tomb. About 50 meters along the shaft, several meters before what we think is the end, there is a stone put in place to block further access. We do not know what that stone is blocking access to. We were able to get a camera past the stone, it revealed a small chamber with intricate symbols painted on the floor. Given the artwork, it is likely the shaft served a bigger purpose than act as an air vent. But what that bigger purpose remained a mystery. Professor Richardson commissioned independent filmmaker William Westaway to use the video that had been recorded to make a film about the project. Mr. Westaway said, This is a fascinating story. One that sheds light on aspects of ancient civilization, but in a twist, reveals how the latest thinking in robotic design and engineering has opened that window on the past. The truth behind it all. There may be ancient graffiti tags left by a worker or symbols of religious significance. The first images of markings on the wall of the tiny chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt that have not been seen for 4,500 years, but have been brought forth by this robot. It has also helped settle the controversy about the only metal known to exist in the pyramid. The pyramid is thought to have been built as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, and in the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing, it contains three main chambers. The Queen's Chamber, the Grand Gallery, and the King's Chamber, which has two air shafts connecting it with the outside world. Strangely though, there are two tunnels, about 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, that extend from the north and south walls of the Queen's Chamber and stop at stone doors before they reach the outside of the pyramid. The function of these tunnels and doors is unknown, but some believe that one or both could lead to a secret chamber. Zai Hawass, Egypt's Minister of State for Antiquities Affairs, describes the doors as the last great mystery of the pyramid. Earlier Attempts to Use Robots Several attempts have been made to explore the tunnels using robots. In 1993, a robot crawled some 63 meters up the tunnel in the south wall and discovered what appeared to be a small stone door set with metal pins. Metal is not part of any other known structure in the pyramid, and the discovery ignited speculation that the pins were door handles, keys, or even parts of a power supply constructed by aliens. 
Then, in 2002, another robot drilled through the stone block and filmed a small chamber backed by a large blocking stone, but little else. Now, this robot designed by engineer Rob Richardson from the University of Leeds, UK, and colleagues, and named Jetty after the magician that Khufu consulted when he planned his tomb, has crawled up the tunnel carrying a bendy microsnake camera that can see around corners. The Shocking Findings Images sent back by the camera have revealed hieroglyphs written in red paint and lines in the stone that could be marks left by stonemasons when the chamber was being carved. If these hieroglyphs could be deciphered, they could help Egyptologists work out why these mysterious shafts were built, says Richardson. Red painted numbers and graffiti are very common around Giza, says Peter Der Manuelian, an Egyptologist at Harvard University and director of the Giza Archives at the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. They are often masons or work gangs marks, denoting numbers, dates, or even the names of the gangs. As the camera can see around corners, the back of the stone door has been observed for the first time, scotching the more fanciful theories about the metal pins, says camera designer Sean Whitehead of the exploration company Scountech, based in Melton Mowbray, UK. Our new pictures from behind the pins show that they end in small, beautifully made loops, indicating that they were more likely ornamental rather than electrical connections. More speculations Whitehead, who worked in collaboration with Dassault Systeme in Vélizy Villacoublé, France, adds, Also, the back of the door is polished, so it must have been important. It doesn't look like it was a rough piece of stone used to stop debris getting into the shaft. Kate Spence, an Egyptologist at the University of Cambridge who was not involved in the study, suspects that, since the narrow tunnels can serve no practical purpose, they are almost certainly symbolic. The metal pins look like symbolic door handles, and the shafts from the Queen's Chamber are oriented north to south, not east to west, so I strongly suspect that their function is symbolic and relates to the stars, not the sun, she says. The King and Queen's Chambers While the King's Chamber originally contained Khufu's sarcophagus and possibly his mummy, the Queen's Chamber probably didn't contain the remains of a queen. Khufu's wives were interred in three smaller pyramids of their own. Instead, Spence speculates that the Queen's Chamber may have contained a Ka statue of the pharaoh. In this interpretation, the shafts were built to allow Khufu's Ka, or spirit, to cross to the afterlife. As for the second door at the rear of the chamber, which is rough and unfinished, Spence thinks it is simply the end of the shaft. It's most likely to be a backing stone. There won't be another chamber behind it. It makes no sense, she says. However, it's fascinating from a symbolic point of view, and this sort of work will allow us to get at the intention behind the construction of the pyramid. Hawass, director of the Jetty Project, says that no other pyramid is known to have a tunnel and doorway like this, which, he says, suggests there could be a hidden room. The king's chamber may have been a dummy room, since the most important thing in the mind of the ancient Egyptians was to hide the burial chamber, he says. We have a story that the magician Jedi met Khufu, who was searching for the god Thoth so he could find the secret of hiding his pyramid. Based on that, maybe there is something hidden in the pyramid. With that, we come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in next time for more of such interesting content.